Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. Alrighty, um. Motor City Online. I'm gonna go through really quickly, and. Alright, this is just a little demo of the main menu. For those of you who are not aware of what Motor City Online was, Motor City Online was a MMO that was available back oh, around 2000, and it was actually released in October of 2001. Uh, the game was actually available for two years, and on August 29th of 2003, EA decided they were going to uh, put a bullet in it and throw it in the ditch, just totally get rid of it. Um, Kind of a poor choice, but whatever. Games come and go. However, this was a really, really good game. It was an MMO. It was based on cars from the 1930s through the 1970s, with the exception of two cars they added in later on to try to, I guess, test to see if they could bring in some, some new blood. They brought in a Mitsubishi Eclipse and a Toyota Supra. And for better or for worse, nobody really used them anyway. So, eh, whatever. But the game itself um, averaged around 25,000 actual players. It was said to have been higher than that at one time, but I know that there were plenty of people out there like myself. I had four accounts. I had a good friend who also had four accounts, and uh, we both made a living off of Motor City Online. We actually would uh, sell in-game currency on eBay for... For real money, uh, we would take cars and, and that we would find rare cars on particular servers and sell them on eBay. Uh, car setups, sell those as well, and made pretty good living off of it. So, um, yeah, I I would say at least twenty five thousand people. But it's partially because a they really didn't promote the game all that much. There was really I think they showed commercials for it like twice <laughs> on TV. So they really kind of screwed the, the, their own um, self on not promoting the product the way that they should have. That being said, they don't have tools like YouTube at their disposal, and big YouTube channels who have hundreds of thousands and even into the millions of viewers who actually watch their channels. So what is the main objective of what I want to do and why am I making videos based on Motor City Online, a game that's been gone since 2003? Um, I really love the game. I know a lot of people that really love that game who want to see the game come back. However, I can't make an exact replica of the original game because, A, um, first off, I don't have a, a major distribution center backing me. I don't have EA kind of money. In fact, I don't have any money. Um, and with that, you have product placement. Um, as much as you would think that they would be flattered by, say, Ford Motor Company letting us use the, the Mustangs, or Chevrolet or GM letting us use Camaros, or uh, what have you, um, most major manufacturers get kind of really a little silly on, on the, the way that their cars are portrayed. I know that at one point in the game 4x4 Evo 2, Ford pulled out from the 4x4 Evo to the sequel called 4x4 Evolution 2. Um, they had their products pulled from the product, from the game itself, because the game allowed the cars to get dirty. It was an off-road racing game, and if you want to showcase how awesome your truck is, then people that buy your trucks get their trucks dirty. Kind of a poor decision, but they shot themselves in the foot with that. Um, so, may not be able to use the actual cars that, like the Ford Mustang or the Ford 32 Coupe. However, can just call it the 32 Coupe or the, the 40 Coupe or the, the 49 Sedan or what have you. We'll have to come up with new names for the cars and have them look close enough to the originals so that 
they keep from getting me sued and so that the players of the game will have something that's worthwhile looking at. So you know that if you love the 32 Ford Coupe and you want a 32 High Boy or 32 Sedan or, or Convertible or Chop Top or whatever, you can have it in the game. It'll just be called something a little bit different to keep from dealing with the lawsuit stuff. So car-wise, I want to keep a diverse series of cars. I want to have, and instead of just looking at a, a screen that's not doing anything, um, these are just some, some render targets that I'm putting together for a part of the menu system. So again, just to actually, whatever, save the selected. Um, have something going on on the screen here while I'm talking. Um, I want to have a diverse set of cars. I want to have the original style stuff that was available from the original Motor City Online. I want to have stuff from the 32 Ford Coupes all the way up to the 70 uh, Mustangs and Chevelles and, and Firebirds and things of that nature. I want to have the classic cars that came in that game. The stuff that the old, older generation like myself can really dig your teeth into. However, I don't want to ignore the modern crowd. So, I want to break it up into three main categories where you're going to have classic muscle, which will be the 32 coupes, the, the Mustangs, the Chevelles, and things of like that, the, the vintage stuff. Um, however, I also want to have another class called modern muscle, which will be like the, the Dodge Hellcat and the, the, the Charger, the Challengers, the new Mustangs, Camaros, um, things of that nature, Corvettes. But also have a third category, which would be the um, the Sport Compact, where you can have your tuner cars, your Mitsubishi um, Evos and Lancers and 240s and Miatas and you know the, the modern tunable cars that people are associating with nowadays. Even the classics from uh, the, the 90s Hondas. So you'll have that crowd, you'll have three main types of cars, so it'll work for a diverse crowd, and while racing, if you're an old school drag racer and you want to get out there in your, your classic 57 Bel Air, and you don't want to be bothered with those young whippersnappers and their, their Hondas, well, I want to have it to where you can set up the, the race category for classic uh, muscle only, or modern muscle only, or sport compact only. Racing types. Naturally, drag racing, quarter mile and eighth mile. Okay, on top of that, I want to have NASCAR style racetracks, both a small dirt track all the way up to a full two and a half mile oval track or tri oval track like uh, Talladega inspired. Um, I also want to have road courses that will test out your car's ability to, to go around curves and turns and things. Um, your acceleration, your braking, that kind of stuff. Uh, but also like to have uh, one other mode that wasn't available in Motor City Online, and that would be something they tried to do with like um, Hazard Hollow was one of the maps, but it'd actually be a primarily a dirt track. But like to have in also um, maybe like a Pikes Peak run or a, um, a off-road rally track. You know, not rally track. Um, it's the trouble with getting old, you forget things. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the, the off-road where you're running through the um, dirt roads through trees and hills and turns and things like that. Um, so having a diverse set of tracks so that there's multiple things to do. Um, also, with um, things to do, the primary thing that I want to start off with is this is actually going to be integrated as part of what is called center of gravity. And center of gravity is a central lobby system which will be similar to this right here. And I'm actually going to play in the selected viewport so we can see what, what it looks like. It will be an actual city where you can actually walk around and interact with things whenever you complete a race or you do another game mode or whatever you end up you win cash well you can come over here to an ATM be able to access your bank account and deposit your cash into your bank account um, however uh, 
with center of gravity there will be apartments so if you want to come over here to my apartment then we'll say that this is my apartment complex I'll walk over here and as soon as I get to this door I can hit a key it'll teleport me into my apartment but that being withheld if I want to go do some car racing then I'll come over here to this side of town and there might be a car lot where I can go in here interact with the car lot and or say there's a racetrack right here I come over here I enter this and then this takes me into the Motor City based game and from there I'll be able to have different chat rooms be able to host races uh, find races and talk to people who are just into that part of that that type of game but then I can also come back to the main lobby area which will be a city or an urban area like this where you can interact with other people you can trade cars trade parts trade whatever um, you can go to restaurants and actually be able to, to sit down and eat and drink there will be things to interact with all around town your character will actually have thirst and hunger you'll have the ability to start with a generic character and then be able to customize that character as you go same thing with your cars you're going to be able to customize your cars with paint jobs and custom parts and pieces and so forth um, so I want to try to capture as much of the original Motor City Online as possible without getting a little bit over the top and without trying to get into dangerous terrain where I might actually deal with lawsuits so that being said um, you end up with instead of chat channels like the original Motor City Online you end up with a virtual um, lobby system where you can walk around hang out and like say if you want to go to um, this taco restaurant right over here and hey you know you and your buddies want to get together and meet here you come over here you enter this building it takes you to a separate chat room where you can sit there and just do whatever um, so you have that instead of the original chat rooms all right so I have a discord channel my discord channel should be a link in the description if not it's in my channel description and with that being said um, which I can actually go ahead and, and link it in here as well uh, I will create a separate room or a separate channel that um, this should be a good link right here I'm gonna post into chat you'll be able to see that there plus I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it is linked in the description right below the PayPal link will be a link to the discord channel alright so that being said you'll be able to, to contact me directly if I am in front of my computer then I will see messages that will go into that room into discord and we'll be able to ask questions and fill you in more on what's going on with that project and so forth now moving on from there the only way that this is going to happen and I don't want to sound like you know a panhandler or whatever else but this can only happen with the support from the community and support from the community there are things that I'm going to need uh, primarily if I get enough people that can help with creating assets um, converting vehicles creating vehicles creating um, props that I can use in the maps and so forth um, that's something that I'm going to need I'll need help building the different core aspects of the game I could do it all myself it would just take a while the less people that help the longer it's going to take for me to be able to release each of these game modes and I really want to play this game mode myself because I really enjoyed Motor City Online I played it from start to finish but if you cannot contribute with helping with creating content with um, making maps or tracks rather or uh, helping with content of features of like the the car configuration and the menus and so forth if you cannot contribute by helping then the next biggest step you can do is contribute with money and you can send me some money via PayPal 
send me a dollar, send me twenty dollars, send me a hundred dollars. Um, I may or may not restore my Patreon account. Um, I've lost money in Patreon. I've lost more than I've actually gained. I've actually gained nothing. But several people who have pledged on Patreon who uh, reneged their payment and ended up getting nothing, but they ended up getting something out of me. So I quit using Patreon. So I just use PayPal for now. It's direct, and the money will be used primarily for trying to pay for people to actually do some work. I have a series of pros that can actually help with developing these these things that we need. So I can actually pay them to create the features that I need. And they're not cheap, but they are good. And they work quickly. And some of the stuff that I actually need, uh, they actually already have and have already created. Um, in fact, one of them, just as an example, come over here. Um, the actual car mechanism, the the ability for me to drive this car around the track was actually created by somebody who contributed to this this project. Um, I just cannot share it with anybody else. I can actually use it in the project, but just to give him proper credits, it was made by John Galt. Um, he's got a good YouTube channel as well. Does a lot of good stuff. He's a um, paid pro, so if you want him to help you with your project, you're going to have to pay him. But said if you want to contribute money then it will allow me to be able to hire people to create the content that will help to speed up this project um, it'll also help with me being able to buy other assets that I need I can also use it for contracting out other people to create assets things of that nature and again I don't want to sound like I'm I'm begging for money but the more people I get helping whether it, they're paid or or volunteering the faster this project will get done, the faster it gets done, the faster I can actually publish it on Steam, and this is where it's going to be um, posted on, so that um, be able to um, to do the multiplayer and do everything pretty well. I actually have this particular car on this particular city map, where you can drive around and just kind of goof off. I have this available on a standalone project, and uh, I will make it available to download through my Discord channel. Uh, I did want to make one change to the version that I already had uploaded there because of the fact that um, this map has a, a block. It has a, a a invisible wall that surrounds this to where you can't accidentally drive off into the water because there's no way of respawning. Um, I did not put that into the, the version that I've already packed up and posted online. So I'm going to pull that version down and actually put up a new version to where if you decide you're going to come over here and do this, you can't accidentally drive off into the water and, and no longer use your car. But I will put this base version out that I have right now where you can actually drive around. It is multiplayer. So if you want to get together with your friends and just drive around and run into each other there's no damage, there's no nothing else it's just a multiplayer menu system and the ability to drive around this, this city, that's it but it gets you an idea that it is possible and it gets you an idea of how the overall game is going to look to get, begin with it will start with these um, I, they're considered to be low poly assets but I, I consider them to be more of a mid poly asset so they're all going to be based off of this mid poly system because I've already paid for these assets so I'm going to make some use out of them so if you want to get your hands on this test version just kind of a proof of concept to see that the vehicle actually drives around the track and does things then I will make it available and be able to, to drive around the track and you know the, this city at least and do what I'm doing right now so I'm going to go ahead and leave the video where we are right now the project is very very feasible to do it's in theory a lot of it is easy to do um, it's just there's a lot of the little mechanics are gonna be the most complex ones setting up all the menus and so forth and the interactions to make sure everything is replicated correctly so that um, when you get into a race you'll be able to see what the other people are driving 
if they're driving a car that's white with red stripes or red with white stripes or blue with white stripes or whatever you'll be able to see whatever paint job is on their car there's a lot of little details like that that really have to be hammered out and that's what I'm going to be focusing on is that and the menu system to start getting the first aspects together and having multiple tracks even though for right now um, the cars themselves are all going to be pretty much generic um, I've only got a small handful of cars but what I will start working on is getting a menu system to where you can actually start buying parts they won't be visible parts they will be performance parts that will make your car go faster so you can actually try different tires we'll say or um, a different engine or a different exhaust or whatever something to start off with a couple parts here and there that you can use to upgrade your car maybe your springs your brakes or whatever because having good brakes means you're going to be able to stop your car slow down enough to where you can make this hard left hand turn this hard right hand turn without getting too squirrely and yeah it'll just be a lot of refinements a lot of little things so again thank you for watching if you want to contribute by helping to build the components for this game please let me know on discord i will be glad to have the help if you don't have the ability to be able to do this stuff but would like to contribute financially that would be even better for right now because i do have a series of pros that i can that are lined up waiting that i can just throw some money at them tell them what i want and they'll make it and get it back to me within a short amount of time we're talking in days a couple days time versus waiting months uh, I'm not saying that means I can put this project out and put it on Steam next month, but you know, like I said, the the more support I get from the community, the better off it'll be. And right now, I would be quite happy with people helping me, but I'm also quite happy with having money so that I can pay people to do this too. Um, not to mention, it would be nice to actually get compensated for some of the work that I do. Um, but. Thank you again for watching. Contact me on Discord. Um, the link for my Discord channel is in the description here in the video. There is also a link to my PayPal. So definitely check with me on Discord. But if at all possible, drop me a few bucks and we'll get this project rolling. And I'll start putting out some frequent updates. And again, to start off with, I would like to mention that I would like to put this game out free to play. However, anybody who donates money there will be a founders pack and you will get access to perhaps either a car that's only available as the founder um, maybe a skin or two that's also only available to um, the founders pack right, and I'll put that information out onto um, discord as everything gets hashed out so take care and we'll see you soon